Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Em. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you my full review on the Yuji S640. If you haven't seen my unboxing video, you can click above or down in the description box. So let's get into the video. So I guess I haven't introduced Yuji that much in my previous video, so let me do that real quick. Yuji was founded in 1998 and manufactured by Hanven Yuji Technology. This brand offers durable and affordable digital drawing tools. So anyone can make use of this pen tablet, but it's best suitable for art enthusiasts, students for note-taking, and professionals who teach online, and even those who are interested in digital art. So now let's dive into the specifications or features of this UG S640. So first, let's talk about the package inclusion and the pricing. The prices I'm showing you right now are the current pricing at this moment, so this may change at any day or time. In Amazon, they are currently on sale and it only costs $26.69. In their website, it's 2,400 pesos and it's 25% off and the code is down in the description box below if you're interested. And if you're living in the Philippines, you can purchase this at their official Shopee store for around 1,865 pesos and same price in their Lazada flagship. With the prices I've mentioned, you can get the following. The S640 pen tablet, adapters for phone and tablets, USB-C type cable, 16 replacement nibs and a nib remover, a battery-free pen, and quick guide and warranty card. UG S640 comes in three different colors, the carbon black, the living coral, and the very peri or more of a purplish color which I have right now. It also comes in two different sizes. The bigger one is the S1060, which has an active area of 10 by 6.27 inches, almost the same active area from that of the UG M708. So I'll be unboxing the bigger version of UG S640, and that is the UG S1060, and probably make a comparison between the two. So stay tuned for that. And this S640 has the following dimensions. So both sizes have the wireless versions, which are the S1060W and the S40W. So now let's move on to the other physical features of UG S640. The texture of this pen tablet is matte, even the express keys and the back part are matte. Also, there are two long rubber feet which helps in keeping the tablet steady while working. At the very top, you'll see the USB-C port. Next to it is the lanyard hole for accessories, then the pen holder. The first impression I did in my previous video is that this area is a little bit crowded when used simultaneously or at the same time. But the idea of adding the pen holder is very much helpful to prevent the pen from falling or losing the pen. So if you've noticed, the pen tablet is a little bit slanted, which is a good thing actually because it helps lessen the strain on your wrist while drawing or writing. So the L-shaped USB cable is better in my opinion because it won't be bent too much, therefore the cord or cable will last a little longer. These two adapters are also included in the package. One is the C-type and the other is the micro USB type. These adapters are very much needed if you're going to use your phones or tablets or even laptops with no standard USB port. Like in my case, my MacBook only has the C-type port, unfortunately. So this really comes in handy. The shortcut keys are on the top of the active area or the drawing surface, which makes it more flexible for both right and left-handed users. So there's no need to change the angle orientation of your pen tablet. Now I'm going to show you each default functions. Now let's go to the tablet settings. 
When you connect your pen tablet, just open the app with the UG logo and you'll see the settings for your drawing surface, for the pen, and the settings for the 10 express keys. So these are just self-explanatory. Here you can change the orientation or angles of your active area. You can also customize the two buttons on the pen and same with the shortcut keys. And if you want to adjust the pressure sensitivity, just go to the pen settings. You can also use the pen as a mouse and when you're done, don't forget to save it. The pen is the same as that of the UG M708. It's lightweight, same with the weight of a normal pen. The nib is a bit clicky and a little springy, but not the annoying type and it's unnoticeable. From the pen tablet I have, I still love the nib of the Wacom the most because of its steady nibs. I use my pen tablet sometimes and maybe that's why I haven't changed any of my nibs yet. But if you have trouble drawing or writing and you're a heavy user, you can try replacing the nib of your pens. So to do this, just pull the nib out with a pen clipper and attach the new one. Then you can start using it right away. UG S640 is not only limited to one or two OS, but five operating systems. It's compatible with Windows 7, 8, 10, and 11, Mac OS 10.10 .10 or later, Android 6 or later, Chrome OS 88 or later, and Linux. So the size of the S640, in my opinion, is just the perfect size when you're using your phone or your laptop. Now, the most important part is the tablet performance. UG S640 has a pressure sensitivity of 8192 levels and a pen resolution of 5080 LPI or lines per inch. I always mention these two terms and you probably already know what these means. But to understand it better, all you need to know or remember is that the higher the pen resolution and pressure sensitivity, the more detailed or clearer your drawings will be and there is much more definition in your artworks. So this is the screen record just to show you clearly how the lines and strokes look like up close. First, I'm going to draw a straight line, well not so straight lines, without any guide. And then drawing a line with the ruler just to show you how it looks when you draw a perfect straight line. Then the fast strokes. You'll notice that the tapered part isn't that smooth. But when you use a small sized brush, it's tapered smoothly. Then on this side are the slow strokes.
The RPS is greater than or equal to 220, so this indicates that the responsiveness is great and there is minimal delay time. So since we're talking about tablet performance, I'm going to try the UGS640 in two Note apps, which are the Good Notes and Notability, and two softwares, which are the Illustrator and Photoshop. So first, I'm going to show you the normal speed of my writing and drawing, and then I'm going to speed it up so this video won't take that long. S640 has a 60 degree tilt function which is a big help when sketching or having to shade your drawings.
So Yuji S640 is a very affordable pen tablet that is not only compatible with laptops but also with phones and tablets. The design and layout are good and though it's cheaper than other pen tablets, the pen performance is on par with that of expensive ones. So if you're looking for a budget-friendly pen tablet, you can try this UG S640. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and please do subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video.